Hello, mompreneurs and wifepreneurs. Denise Boyd here, and I'm so glad that you're here with me because I am here to help you level up. So I am still in the book, You Owe You by Dr. Eric Thomas, E.T., the hip hop preacher. And I'm super excited because today I'm going to share with you some things from his book and also from my life experiences and the coaching that I've been a part of so that you will learn how to be successful in your own right. You, my friend, do not have to wait on anybody to help you become successful. You literally have to start with what you have, whatever you have right in your hand, start with that and you'll be great. So what I'm going to do is pull some quotes directly from the book and also some ideas that I got from the book that were not necessarily a quote. But the very first one, when you take ownership, you become the CEO of your life. So oftentimes, and I've done this before, a lot of young people do this, we like to blame everyone else for the things that did not go right in our lives. We want to blame our teachers, our family, our circumstances, etc. But if you read Eric Thomas's book, you are going to find out that he had some of the worst circumstances, you know, growing up. And the crazy part is that it was pretty much by choice. And because it was by choice, he had to find a way to get out of it. So if you're truly going to be the CEO of your life, you, my friend, must take ownership. You have everything you need right now to get out there and be your best you. You just have to figure out what it is that you want to do. And I'm here to tell you, it's not hard. It's actually really simple. Be you. The way that you were created is simply enough. It is enough. And as you grow and you learn more things, then you will become more of the beautiful you that you were created to be. So the next one, a lot of us focus on surviving. And I think I did a video about, you know, instead of just surviving, living in survival mode, that you should live in creative mode. And it's a Minecraft thing, of course. I have two daughters that love Minecraft and they talk about that all the time, especially the younger one. And when you are living in survival mode, what happens is you're not really thriving. You can't create the life that you deserve and you cannot put out the help for others that other people need from you. Because I strongly believe that we were created to serve our people around us. But a lot of us get so you know caught up in surviving that we start living in isolation and we do not get out there like we're supposed to. But he said, and this is a quote directly from his book. He says, when survivalists go, how can you even think about what your higher purpose might be? You cannot. So honestly, what I want you all to do is to go ahead and get in your creative mode today. I challenge you to get out a notebook, get the notes section in your phone, and really type some things that you like to do or type some things that you are passionate about. Like just type it, go for it. Because as you do that, you'll start to learn more things about you. One thing about us is that we don't get specific enough. We want to generalize things or overgeneralize things. And when you overgeneralize things, you lose out on the power of being specific or the gifts that being specific brings. So be very specific about the things that you like to do and be very specific about what you're passionate about. Like get as specific as you can. And if you cannot get completely specific today, guess what? It's okay. What you can do is as you go throughout your days, your weeks or whatever, go ahead and continue to add to that notes page and watch it just grow. And as it grows, you will grow. So one thing that I think is very important for you all to know, and this is another quote of his, is that on the road to success, you cannot afford to make excuses. And if you've ever listened to any of his videos, there's several of them on YouTube, by the way, you will see that he often says, stop making excuses, but instead make adjustments. So cut out the excuses and make adjustments. So whenever you catch yourself giving an excuse for something. Instead of giving that excuse, what I want you to do is think of ways that you can make adjustments. Like how can I adjust my way around this? For example, if you are dealing with health issues and you wanted to be a great speaker, but you can't go and speak, what else can you do instead? 
ha, you have YouTube right here. You can get on YouTube and still spread your message. You can get on other social media platforms and spread your message. Make an adjustment, hence why I'm here today due to health reasons. So make adjustments because you can do it. No more excuses, only adjustments. All right, so one thing that I thought was so important was how he pointed out, and I'm not going to give you a quote for this because it's like a several paragraph or several, probably a whole page, pretty much asking you to focus on the facts because what happens to you all, when we get tied or tangled up in our emotions, those are what really guide our decisions. But if you focus on the facts and let the facts guide your decisions, you're more likely to level up at a quicker pace. So if you notice that you are falling into the trap of your feelings or your emotions, catch yourself. Stop and think. Like I probably told you guys before, this is a method I taught my eight-year-old. Um, whenever she gets frustrated or angry, I ask her to stop and think. Stop and think. Why am I feeling this way? What just happened? Was it really as bad as I thought it was? What can I do, you know, to keep moving on? Don't let that emotion control you. You control that emotion. All right, so the very last quote that I have for you guys is, look in the mirror, that's your competition. And I bring this up because when I first started getting into digital creation, becoming a digital entrepreneur, I was thinking to myself, there's so many people out there that are already doing what I'm doing and have done great. What do I have that I can do different? You know, like how do I fit in? And I've even heard other people tell me, hey, don't get out there and try to reinvent the wheel. And I don't really like that. And I'm going to break down that cliche later, but you have something different that no one else has. I know that. Now, I don't just believe it. I know that because all of us are different. We all have different fingerprints. We are different people. So I want you to embrace the fact that you are different and you have something that someone else doesn't have and just get out there and do the dang thing because I'm not a cursing person if you haven't noticed that yet. <laughs> so get out there and do the thing that you need to do. Do the thing. Stop holding you back because you, my friend, owe you. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. And as I always say, stay peaceful, positive, and productive. I'll see you next time.